we've, we've changed the agenda to look at all the synergies we have versus all the problems. There are some problems. Uh, for example, one big issue for us uh, has been, forget about all the historical uh, focus stuff that everybody is talking about. There, there are some other issues that are still we have to tackle with. For example, the Bulgarians in North Macedonia still don't have legal protection rights. Well, and that's well, with, about with all due respect, not, neither do, do, do ethnic Macedonians in Bulgaria. In fact, the European Court of Human Rights has heard more cases on that basis than any uh, experiences suffered by Bulgarians inside Macedonia. So you're on very shaky ground there. The bottom line is it comes down to your no, no, political so will because your, your, president, your president says that you're reaching out to the Macedonian government is, quote unquote, a mistake. So you're going to have to take on a lot of powerful people in your own country if you want to normalize relations with Macedonia. But ju just to let me tell you, uh, the, good th the good news is when we're sitting with the Prime Minister of uh, of North Macedonia, we actually agreed fully on the fact that uh, the Bulgarians should have uh, the legal rights that all other Macedonians have and all other uh, Macedonians of other origins have, such as the Albanians. So we don't the good thing here, the good story is that we are all in understanding about this. The question is, how, what is the path to get there and what is the, the overall public opinion on both sides of the border right. that would allow just, us to yeah, get just, there faster. We're out of time almost. Just yes or no. Do you want North Macedonia to be in the EU? Absolutely. No doubt about that.